well, in, in other countries, basically the idea was to try to the so-called uh, excess capital that they have. Maybe they have earned it by means of a windfall. No? Like, for instance, they were able to ex exploit some kind of natural resource or they were able to gain some surplus in terms of trade. So essentially what they want to do is that given that they, these are money, these are funds that they don't need in the short term, but they have they have a lot of money at this particular time. So the idea is to to invest it in the long run. So it, it is intended to the future generations because we probably they don't expect that, you know, the, the kind of, uh, profits that they're getting from all of these activities may not may not be sustainable over the long term. So what they want to do is to try to get as much return as possible from these funds that they're getting in the present. This, I think that what they're saying is that if you pull the, these resources, the, the the commitment is that you'll get higher returns. And usually in an investment, if you have higher returns, the more risk there are. So setting up, you know, large investment projects, even in infrastructure, if you put it in infrastructure, there's there's going to be a lot more risk involved. Yeah. So so it's really gonna be if, if the goal is to to ensure that you know that the future generations are going to benefit from that, from from this particular fund. Uh, the returns have to be higher than normal. And that would also mean that the risk would be higher than normal. Well, as, as, I, as I said, no, like in Norway, I think the reason why the excess capital was because of their, their oil resources. No? And in the case of Singapore, um, I think they had a significant trade surplus during that time. So the likelihood of having success of having some success in this particular investment is the availability of money. No? If you have if you have a lot of liquidity, and I, I'm not so sh so sure about Malaysia, but it would seem that we are we are in the same position as Malaysia. So we we haven't really established yet. You know what? What would be the main sources of these funds? Wherever we're going to set it up, and yeah, that's a that's a that's a problem. In, in in our case, we're calling it a sovereignty fund, when in fact we don't have any of these natural resources, um, and also we we haven't had any trade surplus trade surpluses. At least you know we're still sort of recovering from the from the pandemic. So it's there's there's a problem in terms of the timing. Why is it that uh, we are pushing for this when, in fact, we don't have any excess capital at the present? Yeah. 